famous for their consumption of alcohol, the Pogues. We started by asking them what separates them from many bands mixing pop and traditional music. I like, it's, um, I think a lot of people, when they do, sort of, when they mix, like, uh, folk music with rock music, for, you know, one of better terms, they tend to maybe come up with something that, well, it sounds like that's exactly what it is. It's, uh, you know, like bands like the old Fairport Convention, that sort of thing. Not to knock them, but I mean, that's, that's what it was. It was electric folk music. It's a bit self-conscious, I think. And, and like the thing about, the, the thing I think that is different about us is that the backgrounds we come from, the things that we, we all grew up liking were like punk music and Irish music. And it's that that has sort of, I suppose, made it sound the way it does more than anything. But it wasn't a conscious decision to sort of blend anything, I don't think. I mean, I, I don't, uh, you know, I, I can't ever recall having heard anybody that sounds like us. I mean, even when we deliberately play in a, say, one particular musical style, you know, something like, say, uh, I don't know, London Girl, for example, of the Poetry in Motion EP, I mean, that still sounds like us. You know, some of the stuff we did even for Sid soul based. Yeah, right. Some of the stuff we did for Sid and Nancy, I mean, it's still the only the instrumentals, you know, it's still us. You know. Our new album. Um, we 
we've been we've been recording here for about three days so far, and we've got about seven tracks down so far. Which We're is barreling good, through. Right? It's been a long time coming. There's a lot of pent up frustration, yeah. so it's all pouring out. I mean, this should have been. We, we should have had this done like by the end of last year. It's the latest. At uh, the latest, yeah. So um, now we're finally getting down to that. Also, I mean, the, a lot of the stuff we're doing is stuff we've, we've now been playing live for, you know, over six months. So um, everybody's pretty much, you know, pretty much knows what it is that they have to do. So it means you can do stuff a lot quicker. Our record company had a lot of financial problems, which is why it's taken us so long to get around to making an album. It's sounding very powerful. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's early days yet. It's hard, you know, hard to tell, but. I think it shows that the band has been on the road as much as they have. Yeah. There's a lot of, um, you know, there's, there's been so much time to work in the material to get to know it and to get to know the feel of what we want to sound like, um, you know, from being on the road so much. And that's really come across. We're effectively recording it live. There will, there will be some overdubs on it, but, but essentially, you know, the, the sort of the basic tracks are all done live. The whole band, well, nearly the whole band playing. So it's sounding very punchy, very, it's very tight, you know. Like Phil says, it reflects the amount of time we've been playing together. Well, you're right, so that was like a right sweet, so when you'll find some more. Well, you're right, so when you'll find some more. Who played hard on his flute when the ladies line up for a set? He went to deal with skill for each sparkling quadrille to the dancers who were fluted and bent. With his smart, when he talked, he was cock on the wall, and he rolled a dame and lured over. They all knew at a glance when he took up his stance and he sang in the Irish draw. Yeah, I'm not fine. I know I'm not fine. 